Okay, let's talk about linear regression. So to start off, I'm going to write this as the kind of most common way that you think of linear regression. We've got y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus all the way up to beta p xp. So this is the common form. Oh, and then we've got one extra important term. Got the error. So this is kind of the common way that you think of a linear model here. Y is our outcome. The X's are our observed predictors or our explanatory variables. And then these beta coefficients are what we're estimating. And then, of course, we have this error term. Now, the way that we're going to be representing this model most commonly in this class is going to be in matrix form. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out now. So that can be written as Y equals x beta plus epsilon. And so this y here, let's write out each of these components. So y is going to be a vector that goes from y1 all the way to yn. So this is a 1 by n vector. This goes from 1 to n. So our n observations, each of our observed predictors there, or our observed uh, outcomes, rather, for y. All right, now let's do x. x is a matrix. And so this is a design matrix. And here this uh, should look familiar from what you did in the lab. So the first column of the design matrix is all ones. I'm going to put some dots here just to indicate that we've got a, some space in between. And the first column is going to be your first variable, x1. And then we've got x1, 2, all the way down to x1, n. And so that's the first variable x for the nth observation. And we continue this across. We've got x2, 1, et cetera, all the way to x, p, 1. So the pth predictor, this is our final predictor in our model. And that goes, you know, we've got x, p, 1, x, p, 2, all the way down to x, p, n. So that would be the nth observations pth predictor. And of course, we fill in all these pieces in between. So this is the design matrix for x. All right, now we've got beta. And so beta is also a vector here. And we start with beta 0 all the way to beta p. And then finally, we have epsilon, which is also a vector. And so that goes from 1 all the way to n. So there you have it. Those are the components here of our uh, of our model. Uh, this is these are all the different pieces that we put together to get our linear model. Next, I'm going to talk about how we actually estimate beta using each of these components. And I know this is a little bit of a review for most of you, but I just thought we would go through it kind of slowly just to make sure we're all on the same page with the notation and everything at the beginning.